Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Right off the back, take what resonates, leave the rest behind, because this is going to be a general collective energy reading, you know, so you guys might not all find that it resonates. I'm seeing here the person I'm talking to has a lot of change coming in. It could even be due to how you look at love. Spirit is asking for a lot of people to turn their emotions inward, you know, that might help. AKA, don't go running around trying to give your heart out to different people. Make sure your heart has a good home where it's at and it's not trying to escape your body and jump into any warm soul soul hair, you know, do what you want with your body, but protect your heart because the heart chakra comes up in these cards a lot. It comes up in the um, death card here, it comes up in the lover card hair. So, the, and there's a lot of protection over your heart and whatnot. Because you got someone here that could have tried to dominate you. Maybe they thought, tried to make it seem like they try to use a collective opinion against you. Oh, people are going to think, oh, or nobody's going to like this, like that. Uh, the energy here is telling you to not care. Just move forward. You got a lot coming in for you. Whoever you leave behind, they weren't supposed to be a part of your path anyway. And I'm seeing here for a lot of people that might have tried to go along with the go along, <laughs> like, you know, it's just not worth it. Of course, you know, follow, follow protocol at work, you know, follow, <laughs> you know, what you need to do to make your money and whatnot. But don't let someone be any sort of rulership over you, you know, and tell you how to fit into their perfect image because you got a lot of better options coming along the way. Yeah, we got change, especially if you've been saying 555, five, you probably are going to have an income glow up or a physical glow up. Some of you guys might be thinking about plastic surgery, tummy tucks, this lift, that lift. You might be getting a BBL. You might have had one already. Maybe you want some sort of revision. Some of you guys are trying to lose weight and whatnot <laughs> and and some of that weight could be energetic of other people's energy right here right now and then not only that you make yourself more appealing when you make people earn your love instead of giving it away don't make people earn you care and you might be a naturally empathetic person not everybody deserves that empathy not everybody deserves you the way you care about people you know <laughs> so be mindful of that i wouldn't waste that energy on just anybody yeah, because unfortunately, there's a lot of narcissists that will take advantage of the empaths and they will take advantage of that energy, you know, and whatnot. And I'm saying here that you're learning how to set clear boundaries. You could even be learning the difference between, you know, being assertive and aggressive. Some people here could have had a lot of pent up emotions from being mistreated. So you allowed it to, uh, so you... You lashed out. <laughs> Some people here lashed out. Other people are are not yet comfortable lashing out. Maybe you would you resonate with being a kinder person and you're trying to figure out ways to stand up for yourself and and not feel guilt. And that's another thing here. Do not feel guilt. Practice standing up for yourself and then not feeling guilty afterward. It will get easier in time. Tell that person no. Um, you shouldn't be crossing the line. And if you have to, you know, you know, mm, mm, you know, a little at a time. You don't have to. Hey, that's unacceptable. Because I know, and then some of you guys here might be funny people. You're used to being the funnier one. You know, learn how to set your boundaries with other people without um, 
without feeling guilty. And, and if you gotta block someone, it doesn't matter if you gotta see them, you know, if they ask about it, feel free to explain. Well, honestly, your content brings me down. That's why I blocked you on Facebook. I don't like seeing you post about this and that. And I think our relationship will be better if we just saw each other at family gatherings. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did you block me on <laughs> you know because I'm seeing there's some people here that could be annoyed by their family members what else you got going for my collective yeah failing business poor financial decisions someone here um could have tried to convince you that you were making a poor decision but if you've been seeing numbers like two three four and one two three four you're actually making a pretty good decision with your finances or someone could be gossiping about you about what you need to do and what you should do set the boundary there as well i've had someone too i felt like it was inappropriately giving me career advice i didn't ask for and you know i set that boundary there it might have to go revisit and set that boundary <laughs> this person is also they're low-key obsessed with the wrong thing so i wouldn't take their advice too seriously this person is obsessed with like I don't know the status or the types of job that you would have rather than what's fulfilling to you. This person, I don't know, wants to be more popular, but you know, they don't know what's best for you. <laughs> they know what's best for them and their image, but not you and your image or you and your career here. You know, this person also could want to make you into a little them and they could be one of those i see a lot of you i see a lot of me in you kid but no <laughs> they shouldn't be seeing themselves in you because you and them are on two different playing fields you're earth angel or you know you're someone different <laughs> and, uh, and they and they some other tarot reader was saying that getting caught up in other readers phrases and then it accidentally sw slip out because i didn't hear it heard earth angel so many times i use terms like empath <laughs> usually for my reading but th this person shouldn't be you know projecting onto you or thinking that you're their mirror when you're not you're your own person and you can let them know that too because I'm seeing someone here <sighs> they have a trouble they're having trouble with boundaries and respecting yours yeah for some of you <laughs> this person is actually rethinking the way they overstep their boundaries with you this person ooh, some of this person they just got a very antagonizing way about them it's like you know i don't know some of you guys could be really laid back and then some people take your laid backness for like <sighs> I hate to say it, not a pushover, but it be like subconscious. Like they, they think you won't get buff on them. Some of you will, <laughs> and others of you won't. But <laughs> you know, they and even if you don't get buff, they they don't know that you will also walk away from them. This person needs to tread lightly. I'm saying this person just isn't. This could be hmm. This could even be a therapist for some of you guys and they're trying to get like overly involved in your life. This could be a family member that's trying to get overly involved in your life. Those one of those, when are you getting married? When are you gonna have kids? Type of aunts or uncles when it's like really, it, it'll happen in due time. And you know, and I really don't need that type of pressure in life. Life itself already puts that pressure on me. These are things you could say to them if you feel like you <laughs> you need to or ask them why do you feel like it's appropriate to ask me these types of questions do you do you associate success with being married and having kids i would straight ask them that and like man oh i i got quite the quite the comebacks on me 
<laughs> responded just like I did. I asked someone to, I, who was it? Yeah, it might have been like one of my therapists. <laughs> they, they overstepped. I'm like, you know, I think you just look down on certain career paths. She said, oh, no, me, no. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> It'd be those little responses, and I don't got to say much. I'm like, hmm, or what makes you feel like this is appropriate to ask? ask me. That's another thing you can ask them. What makes you know, see, yeah, duty, feeling burnt and exhausted, struggles, hard work. Some of you guys might be too working a little hard and you're not concentrating on love or you might be, hmm, yeah, delving yourself into work to to purposely not focus on some sort of heartbreak and that's good <laughs> you know here you know until you heal i believe in that going to the gym when your heart is broken that or just putting it all into your success because <laughs> you know you might not be able to control another person but when you feel like you got that control over you that feels really good here and also this could have been someone you left behind they feel like like, hmm, they're exhausted now. They could have felt like they tried everything to get you back. Some of these people didn't try much at all, though. But, you know, they tried all of their manipulation tactics. And now this person might be ready to drop to their knees and just beg you. Like, some of these people are really, like in love with you. I could just feel like their frustration, like, ah, because this person thought that they could logicize, and I don't know if that's a word, but I use that frequently. <laughs> this person thought that they could logicize their emotions, like, you know, choose who they get to love. Oh, I'm a love a girl who's like that. Oh, I, I wouldn't, wifey gotta be this, wifey gotta be that. But this, <laughs> But this person fails to realize that, hmm, that I don't think they necessarily have control over where their heart went. And there was just too many things to love about you, even though you, you weren't their ideal type. I don't know why you weren't their ideal type. Maybe they felt like, honestly, like you gave it up too soon. Some of these people also felt like a clout, like you were, you didn't have that much clout. You didn't have that much friends or whatnot. So they wanted somebody who came off a bit more cooler than you. But now looking at it, it's like their heart is, you know, is really attached to you. Four, four, four on the clock when I said that. Yeah, it was four, four, four on the clock. This person still likes you, but you're being protected from their energy. Like the who, an angelic realm might have had to step in, because just because they didn't take you seriously doesn't mean they had to play games with your heart like how they should have. I mean, like how they did. <laughs> you know, they shouldn't have, but you know. And that's another thing, too. They're, they got anxiety, see, over, oh, and burnout. They got anxiety. They're feeling restless and exhausted. And that's coming out under the Empress in reverse after trying to do something crazy to you to try to control your emotions. They're afraid that you might come forward and tell people, like, what happened. Like, you know, they could have tried to do something that you they thought was would embarrass you so you wouldn't think on it. Like, you know, they, I don't know, like, the way they played it. But then, you know, when it comes down to it, I'm seeing this person just could have also been selfish in the bedroom. Like, they weren't, you know... They weren't a giver. They were more of a receiver, at least at one point, and they didn't return to you. So now you might, whew, you might be able to expose them in such a way where they worry that people won't, won't want them intimately, <laughs> intimately, you, you no longer think about those things with them. And they could sense that too. You're not attracted to them on an intimate level. My ears ringing. They thought like at some point, 
what they did would have made you want them more, like for whatever reason, but it had the opposite effect. It made them not want you. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's what they're saying. That, mm. <laughs> yeah, it made you it made you not want them. It made you not even want to think about them in that level. Yeah, now you're too focused on yourself here with the ace of wands here. You know, this person wanted to be the only one that you wanted and no, that didn't work. It could have for a second, you could have like chased behind them to see if you did something wrong or whatever. Like it just all, it all just, you, you got, now you got a headache. You just don't want to even think about them. You don't even want to think about a guy like them. It's just like they were, oh. It's just giving real heavy, corny, like, vibes. Like, worse than an F-boy. Like, emotionally abusive uh, type of person. They don't even realize that they entered that realm. And they were going to try to act like they didn't care. Some of them still don't care. And they're, they can't... They're confused about their emotions for you. And that could be energy that you could have been feeling. If you've been feeling confused lately, it's because this person is trying to tap into your energy field, but you won't allow them, a.k.a. you just don't think about them intimately. So it's not building that bridge towards them. You just don't feel much of an attraction to them anymore. That's nine of, of diamonds. Five of spades and two of clubs. Nine, five, two. Feel free to look up your own angel message. I'll give you an angel message here. Nine of diamonds. That could be completion in um, some sort of material pursuits, a new job and whatnot. Five of clubs. That could be like battles one if you have it. And with the two of clubs here, meaning you might have someone joining you to um fin overcome any sort of obstacles or battles legal issues that you may have and then the angel number nine five two angel number the 952 angel number is a powerful reminder that when we stay true to ourselves, use our creativity, and trust our intuition, anything is possible. It's a sign that we are on the right path and have the courage to pursue our passions and make positive changes in our lives. All right, that's it. 444 again when I looked at the timer. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you got this far. You like the readings. Help your girl grow.